Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Rigging in 3D Studio Max with Bones Chapter 6. In this chapter, we are going to create the controllers of this rig. We'll start with the foot. Select a rectangle and create a rectangle shape. Position it. Resize it as it will cover the foot. That's it. And I want to move its pivot position or pivot point to the heel part. Fine, that will do. Make a duplicate copy of that and effect pivot only. Reposition it. Select this one. Just shift and drag. Where this one and that's it. Fine. Now, uh, what we'll do? We'll make this bone as a child of this controller. For doing so select the select and link click on the child and drag onto the parent click on the child click and drag onto the parent so now we'll see the bones has been controlling through the through the uh, rectangle we have created so that's the foot control uh, adding of the toe ball controls and toe tip will be learn how to do this in the later ch later chapters and now we'll move on to the <coughs> uh, hip joint or hip bone for creating the hip bone controller uh, we are going to create circle and align this circle with positionally aligned not rotationally I don't need it with the hip bone scale down a bit and then For controlling this hip bone, we have to think the the hip bone is not going to move. It's only going to rotate in different way. So I don't need to uh, uh, make uh, this uh, hip bone child directly the uh, the child of uh, of this controller. Uh, but uh, instead of that, what we'll do we will create a constraining uh, connection between the bone and the controller for creating that select the hip bone go to animation constraint orient constraint which is going to only control rotationally by this uh, controller orient constraint toward the parent so what we have to do we have to whenever we are creating any any kind of constraint first select the child one or which will be controlled so select the bones constraint orient constraint and see the rubber band and just select the parent one and we will see immediately it's been aligned rotationally 
with the uh, controller why this mess happen because my uh, pivot point of the pivot point of the bone was not aligned exactly with the controller but I don't need to think uh, you know bother with that because just select the joint a bone move on to the motion panel in the rotation you will see the orientation constraint has been connected and in the orientation constraint you will see keep initial offset switch on that and we will see it's completely cleared the whole mess so right now if I select the controller and uh, rotate this you will see the rotation has been perfect okay right now what we will do uh, move on to the lower part of the body we have the uh, leg control but we still don't have the control for the knee for creating the control of the knee what we'll create uh, we'll create uh, you can create a circle or even you can select the helper object or dummy select the dummy and just align with the knee bone and say ok and I also going to duplicate this and we're going to align with the other one and I will drag those two at a time why this is going to happen because uh, it's not possible to you know uh, realign sometimes it's uh, a bit odd to realign the positions so select this and this is going to be your uh, uh, knee control select the IK handles move on to the motion panel and you will see that there is an option called swivel angle if you increase the value of the swivel angle you can see the knee has been rotating I want that swivel angle to be controlled by this dummy so pick target and select the dummy and you will see that is going to control the knee so for the other part again pick the target and select the dummy so that's it now uh, your lower part has been uh, completed and in the next chapter we'll move on to the upper side of the body and we'll see how to create the controllers it will be pretty much same but still you'll uh, learn what will be the way to uh, position the controllers and how to connect with them thank you very much